afraid of? Have you ever had such a strong fear in your life that it kept you from doing what you had desired to do? Well, I want to share a verse with you that you can meditate on throughout this week, and it's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and it's verses 3 through 5, and it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. If you weren't aware, we are in a spiritual war. And sometimes these spiritual hosts of wickedness can camouflage themselves through fear. And we can't fight what is spiritual with physical resources. For instance, if we were to drop an atomic bomb on the most evil place on earth, it would eradicate all things that are physical, but it would leave the spiritual hosts of wickedness unaffected. Fear can create doubt and anxiety. Today we live in a culture of fear, and I did a little bit of research and looked up how many phobias are listed, and there was over 500 phobias. But for the sake of time, I don't want to go through all 500, but I'm going to list the top five. The fear of heights, the fear of flying, the fear of spiders, the fear of snakes, and the fear of dogs. Now, not all fear is sinful or unhealthy, with fear being so prevalent and a real thing that we all face, how are we to combat fear when it becomes unhealthy? So you see, fear becomes unhealthy when it paralyzes us or renders us ineffective concerning the will of God for our life. Before I had a relationship with Christ, I experienced some things in my childhood that caused me to be fearful. The way I dealt with that fear was to self-medicate with prescription drugs. But that became more and more out of control in my family. They tried to help me by sending me to a rehab. And then eventually the doctors in that rehab tried to help me as well. You see, my, my family gave of their resources and the doctors gave of their resources to try to help me, but they couldn't help me because it was a spiritual stronghold in my life. But what did help me was when Jesus saved my life. Jesus gives us victory over spiritual hosts of wick wickedness. He, he sets us free. You see, when we put our faith in Christ, God gives us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us not to become victim of the schemes of Satan. The Apostle Paul has written a prescription for fear, and it's found in Philippians 4, verses 8 through 9. It says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true... Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. And I think when we're in those moments of being afraid, what we desire the most is to have peace. And God is so good to us that he's given us a way to have that peace. When we, when we allow our minds to be infiltrated with all of these things that could happen, especially maybe with the elections coming up, you may be fearful of who's going to be the next president, who's going to run our country, and it can cause anxiety. But when those emotions try to overtake you, Take those thoughts captive to, to obey Christ and, and meditate on God's word. You see, the key is to fill ourselves with God's word and to be in his presence. And God will see us through those times when we are afraid. Thank you and God bless.